Sit. Sit. Are we gonna be look at me? Are we gonna open up your are we gonna open up your dog carrier today? Look what we got. Hello everybody, this is Rob with YoroAdventures.com. Uh, today we got a new uh, present came in. It's a dog carrier from uh, Dusty Dogs, um, which I'll provide a link in the description. It is basically a dog carrier designed for your ATV or UTV that allows you to take your pup with you safely so that way they can uh, go on rides and enjoy adventures with you. So, um, today we're going to do an unboxing and installation of the new dog carrier. Hope everybody enjoys this video. This is the box that the dog carrier came in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So the dog carrier came in a box and I just opened the top off the box. But uh, as you can see, it's mainly put together. So I, I took the top part of the package apart, and this is the bottom part. Um, these look like they're the sides to the dog carrier. And I will explain to you the experience I had purchasing this dog carrier, how much I paid for it, what do I think of it, what you need to know about it, and uh, kind of go from there. So here's the bottom deck. I'm gonna cut the big uh, zip ties so I can get in the inside. Oops. Let's, uh... So this looks like it's all the hardware that comes with the machine. This is what came out of the hardware bag. There are two three inch uh, bolts with washers. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, probably maybe two inch, inch and a half, some uh, lock washers, regular washers, instructions on how to install um, the hinges or the platform that I had ordered it with. So a nice little ad additional benefit is uh, in a bag to mark our dog treats, <laughs> which are a nice little touch and his card on how to get a hold of him. And uh, that way I'm sure if I have any questions I can ask, but uh, I'm just going to go through and we're going to start installing this so that way you can see how it looks on the machine. So the dog carrier brand is Dusty Dogs. It is ran and owned by Mark Kerwin. Uh, the carrier I purchased, when, you, when you're getting ready to order, you go through his website, select all the options, and when you're done and you select uh, place order, it sends an email to Mark. Mark gets all the, the details that you're looking for, and he actually gave me a call. Uh, when he gave me a call, we spent about an hour on the phone going through the, you know, basically what, what the carrier is about, um, some things to know about the carrier, and uh, in some precautions, if you will, about carrying a dog of my size in, in a, in a, in, on the machine like this. Um, I did get the, the drop down or the flip down platform as an option with this machine. And uh, the flip down part actually allows me to store additional uh, supplies and uh, you know gear if, if I need to. Now, I'm going to go through some precautions on that, though. There are some caveats, and you got to understand um, when and when not to order something like this. But uh, so far, you know, it was packaged well. So this is the flip-down uh, shelf option that I got for the carrier. This Again, this is an option. This is not a standard um, piece of the build, but it is an option. And I decided to get it so that way I can carry gear uh, like camera gear, uh, my dog bag that I carry that has treats and water. It is not really, I mean, you can put a lot of weight on there, but if you have a heavy dog, it's not recommended. So I apologize for the machine being so dirty. Um, haven't had a chance to wash it, but uh, 
I kind of wanted to give a before video and after so you can kind of see the size of this carrier um, as it gets uh, installed. So Mark, uh, when he gave me a call, he kind of gave me the lay of the land, how to install everything. Um, basically what I, what he recommended was that I remove the back seat. And as you saw, I took the seat off earlier and these are just normal star tipped, uh, drill bit. I'm just using my impact wrench on. And, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off. And we're gonna go further on the installation. So I figured out why there was not nuts on everything, and uh, it looks like he bored these or drilled these out and installed nuts and welded them in. So all you have to do is tap into that, and you don't need actual uh, nuts for the bolts that didn't have nuts. But uh, if that makes any sense, and uh, and then the support. It also integrates itself into the back mounts here, the supports, and uh, I believe down at the bottom. So we're going to see how this gets installed and take it from there. So I'm just putting the, the bolts through. Oh, let me try another hand here. I should have line, lined these up. There you go. Um, so I just put the bolts So I'm just putting the bolts in um, And then on the bottom there's a nut that you put on um, with the washer and uh, We'll get them cinched down So I went ahead and uh, mounted The bottom to the ATV um, deck through those two bolts as you can see it holds it pretty sturdy um, I could probably put a, quite a bit of weight on there I probably wouldn't quite trust it yet um, but it, and then they have the sides so I went ahead and put one side on um, they come with one and a half inch maybe two but I think they're one and a half inch bolts um, they have a washer and a spring washer and then 11 millimeter head um, but I went ahead and put them all the way around and um, I'll continue on this side as well so far I've been able to put the the sides on um, put the bolts in with the spring washer and the washer all the way around um, I'll torque them down um, further, but they were just um, They went in pretty easily. So the next step is uh, just finish Removing all the packaging and then putting the additional Platform that goes on the back So that way I can use that as uh, storage as well um, I did run into an issue and the support bars That attach to this to give it more stability in the back if you notice to do to do them flat like that and I put it to the bar it's off kilter so I'm not sure nor are they with the right length so I, I did call um, the gentleman at Dusty Dogs to ask him the question and see what he would recommend but other than that, I mean, this this has gone in pretty pretty quickly. Uh, aside from me just you know playing around a little bit and just figuring things out, I'd probably say it's taken maybe 15 minutes, 10 minutes to get it installed, which is nice. And then uh, you know once I get the the rest of it on. Now there's going to be some things that didn't come with it, like noodles. Um, I'm going to just put either pool noodles or um, insulation pipe insulation over this just so that way the dog's not hitting onto this and then I'm going to put uh, on the bed here a rubber mat so that way my dog doesn't get uh, their nails caught in there or get cut um, make it a little bit more comfortable 
after I get this all installed, I'm going to then do a quick video of my dog being loaded and uh, how it looks for her from a safety and comfort level. And then we'll kind of take it from there. So I went ahead and put the, the back piece on the deck. Um, without the supports, though, it's, it's it needs a little bit more more support. But as you can see, there's a lot of space on there. And it's pretty easy to stow. Um, it goes up like so. You get these little latches that go up here. And they got cotter pins to hold it. And then when you want to use the deck, you can. But I'm going to go ahead and um, remove the deck here in a moment. And then I'll give you a quick walk around. The initial review. Well, uh... I got the Dusty Dog Carrier with the 18 inch rail. So they come in different sizes and the 18 inch is the biggest. And it's really helpful if you have a big dog so that way they're not hanging over and potentially falling out. Um, but I got the 18 inch. I opted on not getting the extended um, bars that go through here. And that's mainly so that way if you have smaller dogs, they can't jump out. Um, I got a smaller dog, but he, he's pretty much an off-the-leash dog. So I wasn't too worried. I was mainly worried about B, um, who you've been seeing in videos lately. Um, I did get the, the back um, extension to it, the deck. Um, however, I opted to just go ahead and leave it off for now until I get the additional support um, that I covered in the bill or in the installation part of the videos figured out. Um, I did leave the, the guy, the gentleman who runs this company, the small business, a message. So I'm sure he'll be giving me a call back and we'll be figuring that out. And then I'll do an update um, to the video. Um, as you can see, the footprint on it is about what to be expected. It's not that big, but it's it's good size. Um, a couple things to point out that I, I fell in love with is um, instead of putting a metal cage and losing more real estate, you use the seat as the barrier for the dog. Now B, um, so Beatrice, my golden Pyrenees, she's about 85 pounds right now, and this was for her. Um, I've, you know, obviously I would like to take her on rides and she's a little harder to manage than, um, Dobby, who is my little dog. Um, but as you can see, um, everything came with it that you would possibly ever need. My only recommendation maybe is to sell the custom cut of cut mats. I would have probably paid 30, 40 bucks for, um, so I'm going to go out and find me a rubber mat that goes in the inside here. And that's just to keep um, the dog's nails from getting caught in the, the mesh. And uh, and some dogs have dew claws. And because they have dew claws, um, the dew claws sometimes get caught on things like that. Um, I'm going to also get uh, uh, pool noodles or pipe insulation foam and put it on here and I'll zip tie it down. Um, but there's a lot of well-built quality items about this. So there's a spring hit the, the, the latch is spring spring loaded. It hangs down. So it's real easy to, you know, to lift a dog up. Now, the one thing that you're going to have to probably, uh, keep in mind is you have to lift your dog up into this carrier. Um, it is not an easy way of doing it. So if you have a hundred pound dog, you're going to have to lift 100 pounds um, and get the dog in. Um, obviously, the deck is just too high for any dog to jump in. But, uh, I, you know, I don't really have a problem with that. My son and I can both lift up Beatrice, so I think they'll be fine. But uh, other than that, the build quality. So let's go through the actual um, what, what, what came with it. It came well packaged in a box. Uh, it was all wrapped Pretty well. There was minor damage that came from it. Rubbing spots, as you can see there. Um, in there. So, I mean, that's to be... I mean, I, I don't really have... There's some rubbing there. 
in here, um, which I can probably touch up. It's to be expected. I mean, this machine's out in the dirt. Um, it gets a lot of wear and use out in the, the field, but, um, so it doesn't, it's not really bothersome. Uh, the build quality is really high. It is bent tube, one inch tube. I don't know what the diameter is, but it's just bent. Um, this is all very hard to do for anybody who's never tried doing it. Um, the welds quality are really high. I don't see any cracks or gaps, and it's welded on all points. Here, 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 and all the way around. It's lots of good contact. The paint job is uh, okay, but I'll put insulation tube or something on there so you won't you won't see it my concern is that stuff like that the dry spots where you painted it and put it on something and let it dry may uh may start chipping it has all the proper holes and what i really liked is that you're not driving um, bolts through two pieces of metal he actually inset the nut or the wash the the nut into the metal so that way you can drive straight into it and not have any bolts coming through see right there it's all one piece it is a very efficient way of using the deck of the machine um i will you know hats off to this build what he was able to do um i did have a little lip here and uh, but the bar, the support bar, does clear it, so it should be fine. Uh, the hinges are well done; they're all painted. Um, everything's tight. There's not a lot of there's no noise that comes from it, other than from just minor you know parts that are somewhat loose. He supplied all of the washers, a spring washer, a sander washer. All the bolts and nuts are 11 millimeter, so they're all the same build, or they're all the same size, so that way if you have to break it down in the field for some reason, you definitely can. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's well built. I I, uh, I wish I could have the machines or the tools do this type of stuff. Um, these two benders, the square tube benders, are really, really finicky because you have to, um, you have to see this ridge here when you bend it you have to do an inside and outside ridge um, and it doesn't really quite show on the video but it, it may be a little bit there um, and in order to accommodate that you have to have a pretty um, something that you're pretty used to using and and a pretty expensive setup because it takes a lot of pressure to do that there's no rippling on the bends either which is also um, really nice. So usually when you bend a piece of metal, it stretches on this side and it ripples on the inside. And there's no rippling there either. Um, like I said, the welds are pretty much all the way around. I just noticed some missing ones like right here, which I don't think will be a problem. But uh, for the most part, it is enough to keep everything tacked down and, and in place. Uh... In either case, she'll love it. I know she will. This is something that I've been looking forward to getting for quite a while. Um, when I first saw one out on the trails out in uh, Silverton, um, I wrote down the name of the carrier and did quite a bit of research. Did not find a lot of videos out there giving anything than the anything other than the initial review. For somebody who's been writing and building, I wasn't sure how foolproof the installation was a little shocked that there was no installation um, paperwork even a short one just explaining that you needed to remove the seat to easily access these two bolt holes would have been um, nice even though the gentleman who makes this told me that on the phone it's just some people may not remember um, it is just a, a good little tying off on the, the bits and pieces um, but if it was a question of whether or not I would recommend this, I have to tell you, I've seen these on the trail. Everybody who's had one loves them. I would definitely recommend them. Um, I'm being nitpicky, of course, and that's not always fair. But uh, 
in order to do a review, I might as well, you know, at least discuss some of the things that caught my attention. I'm extremely impressed and, and well like this, this setup. It has an aluminum version. This is the steel version. Highly recommend the steel. Aluminum is nice. It's just for me, uh, aluminum out in the field, if it were to bend, it will bend and you're kind of screwed. Uh, the whole system, the whole setup with the extra deck, cargo deck, costs uh, roughly $440 US and that included shipping. Um, like I said, when I went to go place the order for um, this carrier, I uh, went on the, his website, filled out all the for, the paperwork or the forms that he had on his website, um, indicated any special requests or questions. He gave me a call within two days and let me know of uh, some of the things, do's and do not don'ts with the, the, the units and uh, told me that uh, the build time is... Uh, six to eight weeks for build for the weight i would say it probably comes in between 30 20 and 30 pounds it's actually not that heavy well i was able to finally get everything put together i put foam on the ends on the the rail here uh, i was able to put b in there um, b is about 85 pounds so she's a big girl um, she's still going to get a little bit bigger but as you can see an 85 pound dog in there it is not tremendously bad I'm going to get a mat for the bottom, as you can see her, it's just the gray, I don't want her getting her nails cut up, and I don't want her paws cut, so I'm going to get a mat, I'll let you know what I find out there, I went to Home Depot, didn't quite find what I was looking for, but I imagine there's stuff out there, um, B's, you know, a little uncomfortable in it right now, it's her first time being in it, but when she gets used to it, she's going to fit just perfectly. Um, as an update to the support bars down here, um, what I ended up doing is I bolted them, bent them on the bolt a little bit, bolted them up here, bent them again, and then they were able to fit. I talked to the guy who makes these and he said that every sportsman he's run across is slightly different, so that's the only modification piece that I'd have to do. And, uh... Other than that, you know, it, it, it took maybe 20, 30 minutes to put on the machine. As you can see, B has a lot of room in there. She's able to be in there comfortable, and I'm going to figure out a way to make sure she can't jump out. And then, um, and you know, pretty much that's, that's everything I have about the Dusty Dog Dog Carrier. Now, uh, just, you know, one thing that I did notice, and it's a, actually a pretty neat thing. Well, neat, but it just, it was surprising. Okay, so I got an 85-pound dog in a box that weighs probably 30, 40 pounds. I got it mounted to the machine with four bolts, essentially. And it does not, it does not bend. It does not flex. It actually stays very well put. Um, I'm going to be putting the cargo... Uh, the cargo shelf on it eventually but right now I just wanted to keep it open so that way if I needed to pull her out um, she knew how to do that and B has a new new place to go riding and she's happy aren't you she's all excited so we're gonna try to go out riding sometime this week and I'll post some videos and so you can see how it handles and uh, I you know I can't tell you enough but I highly recommend this